Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and, and I made a video almost like this, but I found a little information that makes life a little better. This is using the Parallel Dimension tool, which is right here, and you could measure stuff. Then move it out of the way, and it tells you the, the measurement. And I mainly use this, not for me, but for the customer, because I can send them a a JPEG of this file and they can see how big the font's going to be, what the font's going to look like, how big the font is compared to the, the wood itself, you know, the, you know, if it be a nameplate or a key tag or anything. But what I didn't used to like about this is that when I draw a line and let's measure our font and I'm going to start at the top and go to the bottom and I'm one inch but now let's say let's make the font well that's the size of the box let's get rid of this one maybe that's what's messing us up now let's just select the font the name and it's really 0.99 let's say what let's see what it looks like at 1.25 Okay, that's what used to irritate me. Now the font is 1.25, but my tag still says one inch. That used to irritate me because I'd have to go redraw it. Well, when you click on that line right there, you get some more boxes, and this will automatically update it to your new measurement. That's going to make life a lot easier than drawing another line and getting it at 1.25. You know, because you're, you're basically doing it by eyesight. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.